Do you remember hearing this in the news? Breakthrough in what could be a major game changer. 14 patients with advanced rectal cancer are in remission after taking the same drug. It's a small trial, but so far it had a 100% success rate. The tumors are gone with no chemo, no radiation, no surgery. Wouldn't it be great if we had news like this for our dogs? In this clinical trial, patients received immunotherapy treatment. Immunotherapy helps patients' own immune system recognize and attack cancer cells. And immunotherapy treatment can also help dogs with cancer. In this video, I'm going to share the status of two promising research projects that have been made possible with your support. By the way, Canine Cancer Research Alliance is a nonprofit foundation right outside Seattle, started by a group who had met working for DARPA and who loved dogs. The Pacific Northwest is a home to so many dog lovers and also home to top cancer research organizations. But when we looked around, there wasn't much work being done to help dogs. So we started talking to cancer researchers. We explained that cancer is the top cause of death in dogs and that there are more dogs being diagnosed with cancer than people each year. Today's therapies available for dogs are just not effective. And clinical studies with canine patients have a lot less red tape than human clinical trials. Dogs' cancer progress faster than cancer in people, so that discovery process is accelerated. So the first project that got launched in 2019 involved a team of researchers at Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center and a biotech company, Immune Design. They had a very promising way of activating the immune system using IL-12, cytokine proteins made by white blood cells. Introduction of IL-12 could turn cold tumors with little immune activity into hot tumors with active cancer-selling immune cells. But the effect of IL-12 is so strong that it could cause toxic side effects. But this team had new ways of safely introducing IL-12 using mRNA and lentiviral vector so that patients' own cells make IL-12 and keep them local to tumors without toxic side effects. But sadly, the project came to a screeching halt when a large pharmaceutical company bought immune design and the researchers lost their jobs. It took a while for the team to regroup, but in January this year, a clinical trial was finally opened and is now enrolling canine patients with sarcoma a very common cancer for dogs. The hope is that IL-12 therapy can be more effective at stopping recurrence and spread than today's therapies alone, and also be more affordable as well. We are now supporting not just projects in Seattle, but many other promising research studies. The study that's furthest along is a vaccine-based immunotherapy. Many of us think of vaccines for prevention of illness, but they can also be used for treatments. Very aggressive cancer often have tumor cells with too many EGFR and HER2 molecules on the surface, including osteosarcoma and hemangiosarcoma, very common cancer in dogs. These molecules can also be found on normal cells, so that immune system tolerates them and doesn't usually attack them. But Yale University researchers created a new vaccine that can break the tolerance and help the immune system produce antibodies to attack cancer cells that are overexpressing EGFR and HER2 proteins on the surface and they're seeing very promising results with hardly any side effects. Six years ago, my dog Gus was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. He got conventional treatment of surgery and chemo, but cancer came back and we lost him 12 months after diagnosis. But the new vaccine is stopping the recurrence of cancer for some dogs, and they're becoming long-term survivors. Not just 12 months, but two years, three years, and more. And a few dogs who had metastasis became cancer-free something unheard of until now. This vaccine study has collected data from enough patients so that it is almost ready to get a conditional approval from the USDA, and we hope that it will become available to many more dogs. So immunotherapy treatments hold a great deal of promise for helping dogs. They can be safe, more effective, and even more affordable than conventional treatments. But today, immunotherapy doesn't work for 100% of patients. Why does it help some dogs, not others? What can be done to make it work for more dogs? We're continuing to support research so that these questions can be answered and more dogs can become cancer free. Thank you for watching. Please check out our website to learn more or sign up to get updates about these life saving studies.